Hey guys, my name is Barry Folsen. This is the ultimate challenge. Let's begin! So apparently this is the most difficult challenge ever made for GTA 3. I kind of agree with that. It's extremely difficult. It took me 14 tries to beat. This is my 15th attempt. And also this is not live commentary. By the way, just to point that out. I am currently watching the video just like you are, but I'm talking over it. So, what is this ultimate challenge? Well, you have 10 steps you have to take in order to complete it. So the first step is, as you can see there, get 5 stars in the Wichita Garden hideout. Shooting a helicopter is the easiest way. You get 1 star guaranteed every single time. And let's go. The second step is to drive to the Portland hideout with whatever car you wish. Which means that there's gonna be FBI after you because you're at 5 stars. So this and the next step are the most difficult ones in my opinion. The last one is also pretty difficult but I did it from the first try after I tried it. So I don't know, it was pretty difficult still but there's a lot of random chance with that challenge. So anyway, you have to just survive until the Portland. Well, of course you have to survive the whole challenge, there's no stopping, you have to do it from start to finish in one sitting. Which means you cannot save the game, you cannot exit out of it, you cannot pause it, you have to do it from start to finish. Let me show this, this is amazing, this is simply amazing. Did you see that? Seriously, I may be a bad driver, but that was simply amazing. You have to agree with that. If you don't agree, you are wrong. Seriously. Okay, anyway, let's continue. You can see, these guys are after me. Thank you for stopping Sentinel, or not Sentinel, Stinger. Thank you for stopping. It was very nice of you. So these guys are still chasing me. Now, this bridge is sometimes problematic. Sometimes I have to wait for it. But this time it wasn't a problem. As you can see, it's not up at the moment. If it's up, it's gonna make that stupid sound. This challenge was sent to me by Mr. Matetsko, so thank you so much he introduced me to this challenge. He did not make it, but he told me about it and I'm doing it currently. Not currently, I already did it. I completed it. Now I'm talking over it. So thank you for that. If you have, if you guys have any more suggestions for amazing challenges like this one, then let me know. It's pretty awesome. By the way, that barricade was... What? What were they doing, guys? It was a very bad barricade. Usually I get barricades there almost every single time actually and sometimes crash into them but this time it was not the case because there was only two cars there and you cannot do much with two cars guys learn to be police cops or FBI guys whatever you are anyway let's continue talking about the gameplay and um, there's not not much to talk about oh this this here this was really dangerous and I survived it, for some reason. Now the point here is to get away from them a little bit and then go back. And you can see they are just spawned. It's a pretty way, easy way of getting their FBI car, which is what I'm gonna do. And they blocked me in the front. I was gonna go straight, but I have to go back. And they shot me a lot of times. Also go very slowly here. It was a bad jump, but if you go slowly, they're gonna go straight away and jump over you and jump in the water or whatever. I was not looking at the screen now, as you can see, I almost hit these guys. It was a bad barricade, but I almost hit them. Also, this was pretty bad. A very bad jump over here. It was not intended. But I made it. As you can see, I flipped over, but I made it. You're gonna see that in just a second. I reached it. I'm looking down because it sometimes prevents guys from spawning, but this time they spawned. So this step is completed. Also, this is really dangerous over here. And I have to get 6 stars. And completed, that's completed. Usually, how I get 6 stars here is to shoot a helicopter. Which guarantees me a 6 star. But this time it, was, it didn't happen. And I have a vehicle here, which is... Thank goodness I have a vehicle here. The cheetah is amazing for this challenge exactly, because... You get chased by slow vehicles here, 6 stars, by tanks, and by army trucks, barracks, I think they're called barracks, I don't know. So you change, you're, you know, chased by them, and this vehicle's perfect. Also, it's a pretty 
low to the ground and you may flip over right there, right over there. Also this guy spawned here, he, he never spawns here. I don't know why he spawned here this time, but he did. For some reason, I don't know. So I have to drive to the Wichita Garden's hideout, which was where I began. This is pretty difficult, this is the most difficult step, by the way. Most of my attempts were just dying over here. Right over here, and in this third island. In this step. Yeah, see this guy always spawns here. The first few times I think I explored here. No, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't explore here, but... <laughs> see that? <laughs> Did you see that civilian guy? Ah, poor guy. Just, just imagine going to work, or just coming back from work. You're relaxed, you know, listening to music, enjoying the sunrise or sunset, whatever. And all of a sudden, a truck in front of you, <laughs> he hits you, and you die, just instantly. That's what happened to that civilian, go back and see him, that was amazing. Anyway, these guys are exploring. Ah, see, see this? Did I touch the tank? I wanna know, did I touch the tank? I don't think I touched the tank. Usually when you touch a tank, you explode. Not always, but you explode, usually. I think I did not touch it, it looked like I did, but I didn't think I did. Uh, dude, get away. Take. Now, as you can see here, I'm extremely careful and I'm not driving very fast, because these guys like to... <laughs> this was a mistake. See that guy, he did a stunt, an amazing stunt. It was uh, a pretty bad... Uh, you know... I did not do, the, do it properly because tanks were right behind me and this was very dangerous. What I did also here, I don't go to the road, I just jump down because it's so much faster and there's also always a banshee here. Also, when you fall from somewhere, if you tap the space bar, you don't see the falling animation which slows you down. So, if you tap the space bar, it's much faster. So anyway, this is the Wichita uh, Gardens hideout. You have to go into it, complete it, and you have to... Next step is to steal a dodo from the airport. After you steal a dodo, it's the... it's pretty easy. But before you do that, it's a pretty difficult steal. You have to avoid tanks again in at the same, you know, uh, route you have to take. You don't have to take this route, but it's the route I do because it's pretty... the easiest route in my opinion. And the shortest route. So, let's see. Is something interesting gonna happen? I don't think anything interesting happens. Oh yes, a little later something very interesting happens. I almost flip over. Let me not spoil it for you. But you're gonna see it. So this street is pretty bad for these guys. Because they spawn here. A few of them spawn and sometimes the tank spawns, spawns from the left. And just destroys my face. Also, this right here was very dangerous. What I did, because the tank can just jump on me and kill me right over here. So I tried to get out fastly. And here it's not no problem, you can drive as slow as you wish. Because tanks don't spawn here on the grass. And I almost flipped over here. Now, there's always two tanks or at least one tank over here, every single time. This time it was two, so I know exactly where they spawn, which is good. If I didn't know, I would probably just you know, crash into them, which is not good. So I just decided to steal this Doro because tanks don't spawn next to it, but they do spawn next to the other one, so it's pretty very dangerous. He's in the ground, it's in the ground a little bit, but that's okay, no problem. And now I have to fly underneath two bridges. This is the easiest challenge, the easiest step. Fly underneath two bridges. And I have to reach the army barracks. I'm pretty good with the Doro, I have done stunts before. And I have done challenges with that too. And it's pretty... And, I mean, I like the Doro a lot. I love the Doro, I love flying with this thing. And I have flown with it so, so, so many times in the past. And I'm pretty used to it. For some people it may be a problem, but my problem is the cops. Step number 4 I think it was. Yeah, it's step number 4. I had trouble with step number 4, but this one, pretty, pretty easy, and the next one also, is also extremely easy. You're gonna drive a tank in the next one. So I flew underneath one of the bridges, and this is the second one. You 
can see that right now. It's pretty difficult because it was too high in the sky. Being high in the sky is pretty dangerous. But there's nothing I could do about that. And now I have to make a 360 turn backwards. I could go around the full island, but it's much faster this way. So I decided to go with the fast way. Make a 360 and go back from where I came. Which is pretty difficult still because this is a GTA 3 plane. GTA 3 planes are terrible for driving or flying, whatever. Now I wanted to go between the, the ropes of the bridge. But that's uh, not possible because they are solid. There's invisible walls. If you hit them, you're dead. Which is not good. Also, I forgot to say, if you want to fly the Dolu, you can let go of the accelerate button. There's no need to hold it. Many people hold it, I don't understand why, but you don't have to hold it. So anyway, let's fly over there. And reach the army back. Hello, Dodo! Did you see the Dodo? I did not see this Dodo while, while flying, by the way. I did not see it. Also, we have to land it here. This is next step. And I must say... This is the best landing ever. Seriously, have you ever seen a better landing? This is amazing. Seriously. Applaud me for that, please. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You don't have to. And this also is one of the easiest steps. It still can go pretty wrong because it's a tank, it's slow, and if it stops, instantly there's, there might be a cop next to you, and he might decide to kill you. So now I have to drive to the Mafia territory, which is in the first island, and I have to reach the Salvatore Leone's mansion. With a tank, it's extremely easy. As I say, oh, how did that guy, how did he explode, seriously? He's gonna explode now. You had your chance, but you could have escaped, but no. You decide to fight, so you're dead. I'm not even sorry, you're stupid. So anyway, just flip your firing thing, cannon, whatever, backwards and just go faster. You guys are idiots. Why do you crush into me? Just send tanks, not the army trucks. They explode. Stupid idiots. Anyway, let's continue to the first island. As I said, pretty easy. The last one was also pretty easy, but the next ones are kind of difficult, especially the last one. Step number 10 is... Oh man, step number 10 is insanely difficult, but not as difficult as step number 4. So, let's see what's gonna happen. More explosions! Tank, go away. You cannot do anything to me, dude. So let's go. I cannot go in between that... Between these buildings because there's a star over there. So I have to go around it, next to the hospital. And then I have to go left. And I kinda got stuck over here because of this stupid idiot. But it's okay, don't worry. I managed to get unstuck. Now this is a pretty dangerous place because a tank can push me down right over there in the front. See? See that? See that over here? If he pushed me, he would have gone, uh, you know, push me down the cliff and I would have gone into the sea. That's not good. See, three explosions, actually one explosion, but three trucks in front of me, that was pretty awesome. I did not explode all of them, but that's okay. I don't mind that. So, here we have to blow up two sentinels, mafia sentinels. And you have to go and steal the Banshee. I don't know why I have to blow up these two sentinels, but that's the challenge, that was the, that's what I did. Now, the tank almost flipped here. It won't be a problem, no problem, absolutely. But still I wanted to flip it the right way. To feel more complete, of course. I didn't have to drive with the tank over here, but I, you know, I wanted to. Also, I, I'm not driving the tank into the shop or showroom, whatever, because it could have exploded the Banshee. Also, something really bad happened here. It started to rain. Oh, rain in GTA 3, how I hate you. I could have flipped over, by the way, right over there. But I didn't, and I'm glad I didn't. So, this is the, not the hardest, but one of the hardest steps. 
and it involves lots of random chance. You have to go through the tunnel and reach the third island. Now a tank could spawn in front of you, block your way. And while you're trying to escape from that tank, another tank is spawned behind you and push you, or just a truck push you hard to the tank and you could ex explode. This involves a lot of random chance, but I managed to do it. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. You guys, if you have any other suggestions, other challenges, well-known, not well-known, or something like that, let me know. GTA 3 is one of my favorite games and I'm really into it. I love doing challenges, I love doing dangerous things like chase, being chased by cops and whatnot. So that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching, I reached the hideout, and I'll see you in the next video guys. Thanks for watching, bye bye. Yeah!